for. <laughs> you, you, wait, you waited till marriage to, to have any kind of sexual intimacy with anyone, and your, your wife is the only one there. That's great. Um, you've never struggled with pornography. You've never... Um, uh, you've never been drunk. You've never, you know, done some of these things. And it's very easy for a person like that to point the finger at someone struggling with those things because people struggle with different things. You know, I may struggle with sweets. I know at least one of my children doesn't even like sweets. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's not yeah. really a struggle for, right. for that child not to eat sweets. So to me, hmm. This to me, what what do you see in the New Testament? You see the people that are struggling with the sexual sins come to Christ broken, mm -hmm. and not not not. Sometimes they don't even come to Christ broken immediately. Sometimes it takes some time, mm -hmm. like the the woman at the well. They come to Christ, and they he 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 sits with them, but who does he reject? He rejects the Pharisee that says, thank God I'm not like that guy. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Who who fast maybe, twice this Pharisee, maybe this Pharisee has done everything right, mm -hmm. but he still got it wrong. Because of pride. Yes. Yeah. He's got pride in his heart. He prays three times a day, fasts two times a week, but still has this other issue. So you can be the model Orthodox Christian or the model Roman Catholic Christian and still get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like we have this, you know, on, on both sides here. It seems to be pretty prevalent. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I also think it's it's really bad taste to, to obsess about other people's sexual stuff. Like, yeah. to me, it is a massive red flag if there is one. Like, if someone's constantly talking about that, I would run the other direction. Like, sure, if you're a pastor, mm -hmm. you have to give some instruction. But for of the course. most part, like, you don't... you. You don't want to. You don't want to be around someone that's constantly talking about that, even if it's a pastor. Yeah, because often I've noticed it tends to be a problem of projection. Yes, um, they're critiquing some in someone else something that they themselves are struggling with to one yeah. extent or another. Yes, that tends to often be the case. Um, you know, again, like you said, I can understand a pastor, a priest, you know, somebody who that's kind of their position is they have to address those things. Uh, but for somebody who that's not their job and they're still preoccupied with, you know, pointing this out. Yeah. Sometimes it is unfortunately an issue of project projection. So like you said, it's a, it's a red flag. <laughs> it's a red yeah. flag. And we have unfortunately seen that to be the case as it, you know, these things wind up coming out usually at some point. Yeah. You're, you're right. It is a projection issue. Yeah. I'm not naming any names here, but yeah, yeah we, we all have seen that at one point or another.